Wednesday evening at Driffield School. Were this any other night, everyone would have gone home. But this is Quiz Night. The Quiz Night has been organised by the leaders of the Driffield School Swing Band. Mr. Brady and Miss Crosland, to raise money for the swing band's upcoming trip to Cork. So, uh, what is what event is going on tonight in this? Uh, it's like a quiz night to raise money for our trip to Cork. Ah, right. So, uh, how, how many people do you expect to uh, turn up? Fair few. And um, the naked documentary is going to begin from the activity of the Cork trip to the swing band. Can you tell us anything else about this uh, trip? <laughs> um, it's five days and we're doing three concerts. Question number six. Which ill-fated, doomed, ocean-going liner <laughs> call in for the last time anywhere at Queenstown? <laughs> so uh, are you enjoying this quiz night so far? Yes, Jeremy. In 1912, before keeping an appoint an appointment with a rather large iceberg. Are you a fan of the uh, band of the band that that, is, that this is for in Adolf? Yes, indeed, yes. I've heard them once or twice um, rehearsing in the in the new um, creative arts place, and yes, they're very impressive, aren't they? And very loud as well. I haven't heard them now, but. I'll be looking out for them in the future. Tuesday evening at Driffield School. With the quiz night successfully completed, the band are preparing for their next fundraising event, an evening of musical entertainment at the Methodist Church. This has been organised by the Driffield Rotary Society, with all profits going towards the Cork trip. play an instrument in this band? Uh, um, yes, I play the trumpet. Uh, what, what's that like? Can you give us any technical tips for playing the trumpet? <laughs> um, um, yeah. You have to have good lips. But no, you've got to try and... you got to blow a raspberry through it. you got to go... Like that through it. And um, if you do it right, you can actually get quite a nice sound. I'm full of enthusiasm and I'm very much looking forward to Saturday. Oh good. Uh, what about your instrument? Perhaps you could give us some sort of technical information about how to play it. Um, basically it's, it's the drums. <laughs> and uh, you're just playing a traditional style. You know, you can apply the Gladstone technique and roller technique and traditional grip of course. So, uh, what about a trip to Cork? You're looking forward to getting away for a while. Oh yeah, I'm looking forward to Ireland. Ireland's a great place. Uh, have you been before? No. Another rehearsal over, but they won't stop until the trip. They are forever striving for perfection. For now though, they're ready for Saturday night.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, a very uh, warm welcome. Good evening to you. I think we're just waiting for the last few people to uh, to arrive. It's nearly half past seven. It's great to see everybody here. Uh, my name is Jeremy Buxton. I work for the BBC here in Yorkshire and Lincolnshire. And indeed, I live in Driffield, so uh, it's been a kind of short journey for me to come here tonight. So it's a privilege and honour to have been asked to, uh, to compare tonight's proceedings for you. Before we get underway, let me just uh, firstly welcome you here to the Methodist Church. Uh, the, the health and safety announcements that we have to do for your own safety. And this is why I turn into an air stewardess. I have to tell you where the emergency exits are in case of a fire or other event that happens. Uh, this is where I will highlight them to you. If we do have to evacuate the building, there is the main exit, most of you are back, and for those who are upstairs, it's the main one downstairs, out the main doors. So please give them a round of applause now. Let's put that out the Thank you. 